Hi, uh, my name is Jeremy Chung, spelled T-J-H-U-N-G. I'm a new resident of uh, Rochester, New York. I moved here to be an activist and to help flip some districts uh, in, the, in the Rochester area. Uh, what group is uh, sponsoring this event? And I heard about this on television. Okay. It was on the Rachel Maddow broadcast. At the end of the broadcast, she said that there were 60 cities having a candlelight vigil. Um, it's uh, against corruption and for democracy. Um, so I thought that Rochester, with its rich history of activism, should have a, a presence in this nationwide effort. Okay, thank you. If anybody feels compelled to come up and say a few words, because part of the reason I wanted to do this is to just kind of create a pressure valve, because we have just been undergoing so much bad news, and so much is at stake, and it's easy to feel helpless, and it's easy to not know that you're part of a community. So whatever we can do, to get together on a regular basis, I think it's probably a good thing. I think we get a little burned out from protest, but also we get energized and invigorated by it. So I think if we just kind of choose to live on the positive end of that spectrum, it's gonna help us through November. Um, I just wanted to thank Ginny and, and uh, the Indivisible team for making this happen and publicizing an action together really helped out as well. Um, Lock him up. It does. <laughs> um, these, this is a, these, this song sheet is actually from an organization that I'm uh, a member of in New York City called Sing Out Louise. And basically, I took out all the four-letter words because I knew this was a family <laughs> event. <laughs> but if you want to just improvise some, <laughs> well, um, it's all tunes everybody knows, and you don't have to be a good singer; you just have to be enthusiastic. <laughs> um, and I'm happy to I'm happy to help lead this. Okay. Okay. Um, let's let's start with the biggest. Oh, say can you see? Because it's the biggest type. Um, and we'll find a key, we'll find our key as we go along. <laughs> and I know that this is like historically the hardest song in the world to sing, but we're gonna take it on. <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light just how badly we fail? Don't you wish we were dreaming this malevolent from assign somebody to hand out lyric sheets to the people who are coming just now. Um, all right, you, you, you guys are good, so we're just going to go right on to the next one. Um, God help America, what have you done? Send beside us and guide us through the mess and distress you've begun with your bigots. And your gun nuts, every greedy billionaire. God help America through this nightmare. Come on, America, stand up to hate. Don't divide us, unite us. You can break. To make us more great, tell the bigots and the gun nuts, every greedy billionaire. Let's make America more free and fair. God help America through this nightmare. Really good.
Um, there may be, we, we're going to give the dog a solo in the next one. So just watch, watch for the cue. Um, this is one everybody loves to join in on because the, the verse is exactly the same. Um, Mine eyes have seen the story of the coming of the Trump. With a slew of lies, he mobilized the moron and the chump. The country drank the Kool-Aid down and landed on its rump. But we are marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Yes, we are marching on. He's the cherry on the Sunday of the racist and the rich. So afraid to pay their taxes, they will scratch a fascist itch. They believe he's Mussolini, but he's only Putin's bitch. Now we are marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Yes, we are marching on. We will someday learn the lesson this catastrophe can teach. We will say goodbye to liars and the hatred that they preach. Yes, we'll dance from coast to coast the day the Cheeto is impeached. Till then, we're marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's the dog's part. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Yes, we are marching on. Woo! The toxic Trump, you lie with every word. You rush in court, you stew in chump. Your cabinet is absurd. America, America. It's not a TV show, it's comedy and tragedy, how could we stoop so low? Mm -hmm. So pitiful, the 1%, we let them rob us blind, how easily the rules are bent to screw the Oh, sorry. Yeah, all right. Um, this last one's for Pride, because, you know, it's Pride Week, so yeah. you got to represent. Um, there were several versions of this song written. I've kind of put them all together. We cover a lot of ground in this, because there's a lot of inequality in the world. Um, but, so this is going to be our closing number, unless y'all want to go through them again. Um, I, do, I do want to say, um, there is a website that's on here. It's called Sing Out Louise NYC. This is only five of about 50 songs that we have on the website. If you like doing this, if it's cathartic for you to get out and get a group together and sing, start your own group. It doesn't have to be more than three people. But it can't be less than two. Um, we got to find a key for this one. Somewhere over the rainbow of Trump's hate, black lives matter to all and Muslims can Alternative 
And I think it's very important for everybody to wear a button or a t-shirt or a cap that identifies yourself as a progressive and you wear it every day until the election because visibility makes our voices heard. And I think that it's really important for us to have that visibility to the people at Wegmans and the people at the diner and your coworkers. Don't like get all political at work if you don't think that it's the right thing to do HR wise. But I would encourage everybody to at least wear a vote button, and I've got a box full of vote buttons, which is very nonpartisan. But if you wear a vote button right now, it messages that we have a lot of things at stake in this election. And it's, I think the key for this is not changing minds, it's mobilizing people who are not traditionally voters. And people who are not traditionally voters will not just suddenly get up in October and decide to vote. They need to be prodded and there needs to be a presence from now until the, until the election so that we can actually start getting legislators who represent our, our, our progressive goals. That's all I'm going to say. If anybody else would like to address the crowd. I would say I'm men. Sorry? I'm men. Well, I'm an atheist, but y'all can say I'm men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm women. <laughs> 